Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript Coding Challenge. In today's video, you have to find the below code output and you have four options to select from. The question is, you have a variable a which is initialized to 5 and then you have a const x which is an arrow function which is accepting an argument a and then it is printing console.log of a and again it's printing console.log of a and then we have a const y which is having a function and it's expecting an argument b and it is printing console.log of b and you have uh, the two functions are actually being invoked and the value and the arguments are passed to x of 1 and y of 3 and the options are a 5 5 and 3 b 1 1 and 3 c syntax error 5 and 3 and the fourth option d 5 1 and 3 so please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting I have this particular script available in the test.js file and this script I am calling from the index.html as you can see over here. So let me run this and make sure that everything is running fine, okay. And yes, it's running now. So let me uh, inspect and open the sources before going into console and we I have already put a breakpoint over the uh, in the initial, okay. And before running that we have used the two functions in this particular question, okay. One is a normal function and another is an arrow function. So what is an arrow function? It is a compact alternative to a traditional normal fu function, okay. But it has uh, based uh, compared uh, in the functionality wise, it has actually limited functionality compared to a traditional normal function and it cannot be used in all situations because we have a limitation like this, there is not binding for this and it cannot be called for call, bind and apply. So there are many other uh, limitations that is there for arrow functions. So we can explore more on that. In today's video, we'll just uh, see what an arrow function is uh, respective to the current question. Okay, so uh, what I'm trying to do, uh, so first we are actually setting where a equal to five. So when I ran this application, okay, ran this code. So you can see here uh, in the global scope, a has been actually uh, undefined. Okay, so it has been in the code execution phase. So we it will be setting uh, a as uh, undefined initially because we have not started because there is a code uh, execution context, right? In that all the functions and variables and all those are getting stored with an undefined value. Okay, function will be stored as the function expression itself, but variable will be stored as undefined because it's a var keyword. It will be available in the global scope. So before that. So this error function, as you can see here, it has been uh, written uh, in multiple lines or uh, after this arrow, there is nothing, no expression over the here. So how it will be actually uh, taking into consideration, right? So uh, either this piece of line, right? This piece of code, we can actually write in another way, okay? Uh, another way as like uh, this arrow can be brought down. So as soon as I brought down this, like I will just uh, declare with another variable, okay? As soon as I uh, make this arrow function uh, to the bottom, right? Line, there is a line break as I introduce line break. So it says that uh, there will be a syntax error, okay? There will be a syntax error. So if I, uh, it is not allowing me to do that, okay? So it is asking like add uh, braces to arrow function or convert to a named function like that. So it will not allow that. So wh what happens if I put a line break over here, okay? So it is allowing this particular syntax so that means if it will consider the next piece of line and there is no braces over here, there is no block scope mentioned. So if I put a block scope, then there is no issue, okay. But as I have not mentioned this block curly braces over here, only the one line, okay, only the one line next to that uh, arrow function will be taken into consideration as part of this particular function, okay. So in this case as well, so in this case as well, you can see here that uh, this cons const x equal to an arrow function which is having an argument a will be available only for the line number 5 and it will not be available for the line number 6. It has, If it has to be available then we have to introduce curly braces between this uh, on 4 and line ending and we have to end that after line number 6, 7, okay. Uh, in line number 7 we have to introduce a curly brace, closing cr curly braces. As in this question we are not having curly braces, this console.log a only will be available for this arrow function and line number 6 will be, uh, will not be available for this arrow function. So we can see it in action, okay. So if I press F10, okay, so here you can see uh, it is now uh, this particular line, piece of line will not be uh, 
uh, called as of now because there is no console you can see here because x has not been invoked as of now and hence this console.log of a is not printed and it has gone to the next console.log of a which is available uh, with outside the arrow function okay so now if i press f10 what happens we, we know that where a equal to 5 and this a gets uh, passed over uh, this console and a 5 gets printed over here right so similarly what happens for y y is also a function so if i press f10 this particular console will not be printed as of now because that fu that function has not been invoked now what we are trying to do now we are trying to do x of uh, 1 and here you can write the now the script is x a console.log of a so it knows that a will be 1 and okay a will be 1 so if i press an f10 again um, okay so it has gone to okay it has gone it has printed already this printed this one okay so now if you see here uh, it is already printed and uh, a will be printed as one okay because we have provided the uh, parameter as one okay now if i put uh, y of three if i put an f10 you can see here this particular console is also getting printed because b will be uh, taken the value as three console dot log of uh, b that is three and hence the output will be 5 1 and 3 okay so that's the way it gets printed so again just a recap of what uh, i have just mentioned so if there is a line break after an arrow function it is fine and it will take one line one next line uh, will be part of the arrow function and the next line okay whatever line is after the after the first line it will not be part of the arrow function okay if you want that to happen okay if you want that to happen then in that case okay in that case you have to put a uh, curly braces over here okay you have to put a curly braces over here and if i put it like this then the answer would have been uh, totally different because that is within the block scope and if i just refresh this Okay, I am just doing a refresh and if I see the console you can see here the answer is gone 193 because what happened now a is available okay now a is available uh, throughout this particular a argument is available throughout this uh, block okay and where a will be uh, equal to 5 will be overwritten within this uh, block scope and whatever value we are passing here will be printed over here so in our question as the uh, arrow uh, curly braces was not available so only the next one line after the arrow function will be taken into consideration whatever line after that comes will be outside the arrow function and hence it printed five first five first because this uh, const x was not invoked so hence this is this is the first console that is getting printed and after that x of one in that uh, function will be called and a will be printed that is one will be printed and then we are invoking y and hence three will be printed so that's uh, all about this particular video i hope you got an understanding about how error function works for a line break okay so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching